Hello, my name is Jose Barriga and I want to welcome you to the next video on my uh, conversion of the Nissan Sentra to an electric car. In this video I'm going to show you uh, how I built the plates for the um, between the transmission and the motor with the assistance of uh, Steve and Audrey Clan from Green Shed, Green, Green Shed Conversions. They're in four peers and I decided to do the conversion, the, the, the adapter plate there with their assistance because Steve Clan has been doing this kind of conversions for over 25 years. So he, he is very experienced and I feel very confident that uh, the plate is going to be a good one. Um, so let's uh, start. Here's where I ordered my motor to be shipped so I could have it available when we started the conversion. Um, so this is basically the motor. The packaging is very well packaged. So it took me, took me a while to unwrap it. Um, so uh, uh, let's start with the process. The first step is to put the transmission upside down into a steel plate and with the chalk start shaping the, the, the form of the transmission. So in, in order to cut the first plate, uh, remember that we are going to build two plates, the motor side plate and the transmission plate. So this is the transmission plate and with the blowtorch we, we, we start cutting the, the first plate. We left some extra uh, sides on the top and in the bottom for anchoring purposes on the motor. After it was cut we started removing the excess of metal with the uh, angle grinder and also we made sure that the, the holes that where the transmission is going to bolt are very precise. We had to be very precise on the on the position of the bolts for the transmission so it doesn't move, doesn't wiggle around. As you remember this is the piece of crankshaft that I cut from the old gasoline engine and that we are going to reuse in the, in the main shaft of the electric motor. Um, this is the one I sent to Steve beforehand and this is what he did with it. He put, he cut it and he put the uh, hub inside of it and um, then uh, machine the whole thing to fit together and this is going to go into the front shaft of the electric motor and is going to be secured with the three uh, top uh, alum I'll, 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 screws that you see in this picture. So this process is a trial and error. You start putting it into the front shaft, make sure to use the key. Uh, we have to remember to use the key and start spinning with the assistance of the dial indicator to make sure that it's level. Since it's not going to be at the first, you have to keep tightening the screw that is higher and try again and spin and try again and keep tightening the screw that is where, where, the, where is higher in order to make it level. After the first center shaft is, is level, we have to start testing with the flywheel because it's bigger, the, the range of error is bigger. <laughs> Until we were positive that the uh, flywheel was perfectly level and we started working on the motorcycle plate. This is the motorcycle plate and um, uh, basically it's just a square with the hole in the middle for the shaft center of the motor. And a piece of advice here, those four screws that you put in this one, the motor sides, make sure we had to make sure that they were not that long because if they are long enough they will hit the fan the cooling fan of the motor and will break it so this is uh before putting any power into this make sure that the motor uh is still spinning freely and the screws didn't go all the way through the fan or that will void your warranty that's very important and a lot of people seems to have this this issue this problem Okay, so we're back to the transmission side plate after we complete all the holes to match the transmission. So we have to make another hole in the middle for the motor electric motor shaft to pass through um, with the with the clutch inside of the transmission. And this is the tricky part. You have to assemble the whole thing together now. You have the plates, you have uh, the clutch in place, and you have to mount the transmission in the top of the 
on the of the whole thing and start inserting separators in the uh, in between the plates and once the whole thing is assembled like what it's supposed to be on the final um, in the in the motor in the engine compartment of the car uh, we applied some power 12 volts only for testing purposes 12 volts is uh, the maximum without load that you put into these motors to test so you start spinning the motor and we start shifting the plates left and right pushing a little bit at the time down and up until we made sure that there was not uh, any weird vibration or any weird noise and they seem to like each other where the position where it was and here we had to make sure to uh, pull the lever of the clutch because at first the clutch wheel is not the clutch this is not centered so it vibrated pretty bad until we pushed the lever of the clutch into the transmission which made the clutch to be centered so we were able to um, properly test then the right position of the plates um, after we were happy with the separation between plates we we started cutting the separators we put a total of six separators and we started making sure that the, the, the size was exactly the same for all the separators so we had to machine them until they were exact length each one we were very careful with the plates very very parallel nothing in angle so until the separators were perfectly up -based. Um, again, try and error, try and error, till they're exactly the same length. We started the welding process. Um, it's very important to protect your motor because the sparks and the heat may get into the electric components. So we protected the motor with some fabric and the welding started. Um, after the welding was done, that was pretty much it. We made a couple of extra tests with 12 volts spinning the the motor and it, it spin really nice. No vibrations, no noises, uh, no no weird noises. And well, after that, that was it for me. It was day and a half of work, and it was time to go home. So with just the assistance of an engine hoist, I put the um, components in the transportation car in and out and well the next step is to get the plate painted and then make a test in the engine compartment itself uh oh by the way i uh, had a chance to drive my first electric car at green shed conversions it was a saturn and it was such a great experience this is a 300 volt system and uh, i don't think i've ever driven anything with so much power it was really shocking and amazing. This car can, can has some serious uh, power. This is the engine compartment where some of the batteries are and the controller you can see it in the extreme right. Uh, they also converting a, a Lamborghini, a kit car. Uh, that would be a nice ride. I'd like to drive myself, but uh, for now, I'll just keep working on my Nissan Sentra. This is a very, very nice car. Okay, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.